Hello, my name is Dr. Gaurdas Chaudhary. I am the Director and Head of Department of Gastroenterology and Hepatobiliary Sciences at Fortis Memorial Research Institute, Gurgaon. I am here for the last one year and my special interest is in certain aspects of liver diseases. Uh, liver is a very vital organ of the body and there are several types of diseases which occur. The commonest today in our uh, society is fatty liver disease. Many a times it progresses on to a condition called liver cirrhosis. The other two very common conditions of the liver are infections with hepatitis C and hepatitis B. Both these two viral infections lead to a chronic smoldering liver disease which often leads to either liver cirrhosis or a liver cancer and sometimes require a liver transplantation for a rescue. So my main areas of interest has been on fatty liver disease. There are basically two types of fatty liver disease. One is linked with alcohol consumption beyond what is good for health and the other one is linked with our lifestyle which includes being overweight or obese, having a lot of cholesterol or lipids in the blood if you are diabetic and if you are not doing your exercise regularly. This excess fat in the liver can be as detrimental that it also leads on to liver cirrhosis and this is emerging as a major health problem today for which we are particularly concerned. Liver cirrhosis is an end stage disease in which the liver gets very fibrotic and starts getting weak. One could possibly uh, keep it uh, uh, you know, going for a while even after the diagnosis of cirrhosis but if it progresses to a stage of liver failure then you have to remove the liver and transplant a new fresh one so that life can go on which is known as liver transplantation. That in itself is another topic and we at Fortis Memorial Research Institute are going to start liver transplantation very soon within the next one or two months. Sometimes you know it's very difficult to know what's the stage of your liver and earlier on there was a test called a liver biopsy which gave a very good idea and this test involved poking a needle into the liver and taking a sample of tissue. We are very fortunate that in Fortis Memorial Research Institute we are getting a fibro scan with a cap facility. This is a very special machine in which they can tell you about the state of your liver from outside without having to poke in a needle. It's like a very special scan and it tells you whether fibrosis has started. In other words, are we moving towards liver cirrhosis or not? Also, the CAP facility tells us how much fat there is really in your liver. Is it something to worry about? Or how to get it removed from the liver and you know if exercise and diet is making a change. One of my special areas of interest in treatment of liver disorders is treatment of chronic hepatitis B and hepatitis C. You know, hepatitis B is something which uh, about 2 to 3 percent of the population is affected by this infection and it's very surreptitious. So you actually don't get to know about it, there are no symptoms. But over a period of years, it progresses and can cause liver cirrhosis or liver cancer. So the best way is to get a blood test done and make sure that you don't have it. And if you don't have it, the next sensible thing to do is to get yourself vaccinated for it. It's three doses of the vaccine taken at zero, one and six months. And this can give you a protection for the rest of your life. If in case you still do happen to get hepatitis B, it's fairly easily treatable now with about six drugs in the market but compliance is an issue and one has to take it for long periods. Hepatitis C is emerging as the other major challenge. Although it's present in about 1% of the population, it's spread through blood transfusions, through non-disposable needles and syringes, through tattooing and through a lot of contact where there is a bit of skin piercing. This is again a virus which can lead on to cirrhosis or liver cancer. The treatment of this disease is very interesting. Right now it's long and it's a little cumbersome with weekly injections of a, injection of a drug called pegylated interferon along with a tablet. It's to be taken for 6 to 12 months. One of the good things is that it can actually be completely cured but obviously the treatment is long. The most 
interesting recent development in hepatology has been the launch of a medicine overseas last month, uh, uh, two months ago, which is an oral tablet bereft of side effects and this can actually treat hepatitis C very well. We are very anxiously looking forward to launch of this molecule in India at an affordable price. So this is bound to change the face of hepatitis.